Hello, and welcome to my team's presentation. Today we are talking about our private cloud with IoT design challenge. We are Team Denton Space Eagles. Because we can't be in person, we will introduce ourselves so voices aren't confused. I'm the team lead, Mark Yonker. Hi, I'm Sean Dali. Hi, I'm Michael Warren. Hi, I'm Yuchen Fein. Hi, my name is Ricardo Garza. To introduce this project, I want to give you some background. In these last couple of years, NASA has had an increased demand for monitoring and producing data. The reason being space communication, vehicle health, experimental data, and engineering data. That being said, the amount of data being produced would increase in, in next years because one of NASA's goals is to return to the moon. And to help achieve this, NASA plans to seek out the use of IOTs, or the Internet of Things, which have become widely popular in the last couple of years. This should help reduce the time needed to process all data from experiments and other, and other areas. Currently, data is sent to Earth to be processed, but that data transmission is bottlenecked because of the connection. This gives the transmission a high propagation time. The objective for this project is to examine an open source IoT cloud platform which will have a couple test applications to demonstrate its capabilities and still have the data stored and processed on board while only sending relevant data back down to earth. The way it was designed is to have four applications. These four applications will send their data up to the cloud, have the data processed, and in some cases have the data sent back down like on a motion sensor camera and it would have it displayed on the LCD. For implementation, our project will have four different applications to evaluate cloud capacities, which are field monitor, health monitor, weather station, and motion sensor camera. These four applications are built to stress the server to show off their features and the server's capacities. The field monitor monitors real-time air pressure, temperature, and the fuel level inside the fuel tank. It has an alert for dangerous fuel status, like high air pressure, high temperature, or running out of fuel. In addition, it can calculate the remaining flight time and distance according to the fuel burning rate and the speed of the spacecraft. The purpose of this application is to test the IoT platform by acting as a monitoring system for astronaut health. It is built using a Raspberry Pi 4 with an oximeter sensor, a pole sensor, two microphones, and two speakers. It will be served as an assistant for monitoring astronaut health status, such as blood oxygen level and heart rate. An alert will show on the cloud side if abnormal data presents to inform scientists of critical condition. Also, in case of emergency, speakers and microphones will be used for communication between the astronaut and the cloud site. And the third test application is going to be a weather station. It has an anemometer, a wind vane, and a rain gauge for measuring the amount of rainfall, the wind speed, and the direction. It has a temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor for reading the current climate. And for example, let's say you have high winds, it, will, it can send out an alert to the cloud or the IoT platform and say a high wind advisory. Our fourth application will be a motion sensor camera. Motion sensing has a wide range of uses from automatic doors to floodlights outside your house. We've decided to use it to record any motion detected by a PIR sensor and ultrasonic sensor. Using both in tandem increases accuracy and gives extra data like the distance the object was at. When motion is sensed, the camera is activated and will record and then upload the footage to the cloud. In the cloud, recorded footage will be run through machine learning algorithms using Image AI and perform object detection on the video. Image AI is an open source Python library with self-contained deep learning capabilities. 
Once processed, the video will be displayed in the cloud and sent back to the edge to be displayed there as well. For the IoT Cloud platform, we have chosen to use ThingsBoard as the foundation. The platform will act as a gateway for devices to connect to, regardless of the communication protocol, and for users to view and control the devices connected. Some of the communication protocols that ThingsBoard already supports and has community examples of are MQTT, HTTP, and Bluetooth Low Energy, but these are just a few examples of what is supported and it also has support to add other communication protocols. The platform also has the capabilities to raise alarms if a device's sensor data meets a predefined condition. This alarm can trigger a multitude of different actions by the platform to happen. For example, having the dashboard updated to show the active alarm, have the platform send a message to another device so it can handle the alert, and many other things. While ThingsBoard has dashboards to visualize data already available as part of the platform, we'd like to explore the idea of having ThingsBoard connect to an external dashboard program, like NASA's own open source dashboard, OpenMCT, to visualize data. This semester, we have made some general progress on the test applications and gotten ThingsBoard installed and set up. In our demonstration setup, we have a virtual device that is reporting temperature data to the server utilizing the HTTP protocol. The server then records the data, processes it, and displays it in our demonstration dashboard that is set up to show data in real time with a current reading and a history graph. The current dashboard is just a basic representation of what ThingsBoard dashboards can do. It has the ability to rearrange the graphs in any manner that the user wants, have more complex data visualizations, and have many different telemetry sources. We're planning on finishing the four separate test applications that will connect to the cloud, and then we will integrate those data streams from the test applications into that cloud, and then design dashboards and alarms around that data. We will then display that data on the dashboards. The whole project is planned to be finished by the end of next semester. Right now, we are in the state of syncing up sensors of each test applications and setting up the raw connection between test applications and the cloud. As the preliminary results shown, the features of the IoT platform we chose are very powerful. We are planning to connect test applications to the cloud by end of this semester and we are very excited to continue working on the project and further expand its functionalities. We would like to thank everyone on this list for helping us on the project and helping coordinate this event. Thank you very much. Here are the references that we used. Thank you for watching.